Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we are looking at Fate Apocrypha, episode 10. So I do apologize, guys and girls. I feel like I'm doing that a lot lately. But, uh, you know, today I was really insanely busy, so I could not get a review out on time with this. And I know it came out like several hours ago, but hey, here I am now with it. So anyways, um, this week's episode, to say the least, was freaking amazing. Like, I don't know, Fate, Fate Apocrypha might be one of my favorite Fate series of all time so far hands down uh so essentially what was the biggest thing was frankenstein died that was kind of a surprise i didn't think she she would sacrifice uh herself to do what she did and we actually heard her talk for once which was kind of interesting um she tried to kill mordred but failed horribly mordred was able to survive uh using her power and then meanwhile sieg who had come in to join the battlefield basically couldn't do very much uh, he tried his best but he basically was killed immediately by Mordred and what was interesting though is that he met Siegfried inside of his dream and they were talking and then what was very funny was that he at one point met the dragon that Siegfried had taken down and then saw a sword and he goes why are you fighting what are you fighting for he goes I don't know but he goes I want to be able to save someone's life and he pulls a sword out and all of a sudden Siegfried actually comes back to life through Sieg which is interesting. Now, according to uh, uh, Shiro, this is most likely possession, which that means that because the homunculus is actually taking another spirit into his body and letting him use his body to become, again, like almost like a pseudo saber of black, which is interesting to me. But I thought that was really cool. I really, I did not expect that. And I think, um, the guy, I always forget the guy's name, Mordred's uh, master. He said it best with the great, with the great holy wars, or the, the great holy grail wars, I should say. You never know what's coming around next. Like, it, it's always been a surprise. I mean, that's how I think Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night had it, where if you've never seen those before, you didn't know anything about the source material. They were always surprising. And that's one thing I loved about the shows in general. But Fate Apocrypha, though, really is throwing some very interesting things at us. And I'll tell you guys and girls, the, the amount of action makes up for a lot of, like, I want to say the several episodes at the beginning that had a lot of narrative. But even then, this show has been a lot of, like, basically primarily action. Which, I think the only thing that scares me is that, as we know, this is a two-core series. It's going to be, like, I think 12 episodes for the first core. So we have, like, two episodes left, and then probably it's maybe a few weeks break. I don't, know, I don't know how they're going to do it. But then we're going to have the second core, and it's going to go up to episode 24. The thing that is very interesting to me, though, is will they run out of action by then? Or are they going to, like, is this, is this all climaxing for this war to kind of hit a midpoint and then it's gonna be like half the sides are both dead and then we're gonna just have like essentially a regular holy grail war or is something else gonna happen i'm very curious about that let me know what you guys think in the comments below unless you've already know if you already know what's gonna happen don't spoil it you know i i appreciate you guys haven't done that yet so far but you know i, I always have to kind of remind people because they love to sometimes throw a little bit too too much information out there but if you can keep it spoiler free go right ahead and tell you know tell what you think is gonna happen next week or if you do know you could just say, hey, oh, this is going to be really good or whatever, because I'll, I'll look, read that and be like, oh, shit, that's awesome to hear. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. I have a Centaur no Na uh, Nayami, which is, you know, Centaur's Life episode, I think, I want to say 10 also. Uh, I should have that review out in about maybe an hour, probably less than that, to be honest with you, because uh, I'm almost done with it. I, I Probably as of this recording, I'm done with it. But I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great, blessed night if I don't see you in my next review. Bye, everyone.